Hey everyone, it's me Stephanie Ann and in today's video we are going to Goodwill. I need to find some material for my ideas. So. Today I wanted to do something a little different. I decided that what I would try to do is replicate a dress that I thought was just really pretty online. See if I can somewhat make something like it. If I don't find the right materials, then I can, you know, adjust my idea accordingly. I wanted to buy all the products at Goodwill. I'm gonna give myself a budget of 20 to $30 and see what I can come up with. I'm excited. I am gonna take you guys with me and we're we're gonna see what we can find. Let's see what they got. got quite a bit of stuff i maxed out on my budget i walked in with well almost but i also was able to get a few items i'll show you everything that i got once i get home for now i gotta go to walmart to finish up everything that i need i technically don't have any thread i decided to go with black so we'll see how that goes also i want to try to get some embellishments i looked everywhere in goodwill for anything that i could use instead but i don't think i'm advanced enough in my sewing aka i don't know what i'm doing i kind of don't don't know what dress I'm gonna do at this point because the dress that I wanted to do I wasn't able to find anything to replicate it we are making it up as we go along I'm looking forward to it closer to four o'clock. I haven't even gotten back home yet. I think I have enough to start the project. This is turning into something different for sure. So just to show you since I did it in Walmart, I got black tulle. So I haven't figured out what the dress is gonna look like at this point. I got really cool looking trim, some black thread, but I also got thread for the other fabric I found. This may or may not be the right color. We're gonna hope for the best. An invisible zipper liquid stitch, just in case, cause it was $1. And then last but not at least these because this pack was a dollar and I am trying to be very frugal with my money right now. I gotta head home. Okay, so I'm back home. I wanted to show you what I got from Goodwill. I got a few things for the shop and a couple things for the making a dress idea. Everything is chaotic right now. So this one I thought would be cute for the shop and fun to maybe photograph and stuff. So it's actually a dress and it was 50% off. Last minute I found this, I was like, this is gorgeous. This is the little night slip. It's really cute, very long. Up but over it goes this little piece, which is really elegant and really pretty. I found that one so last minute, I was excited. The other thing I got for the dress to make are these black curtains. And I thought this would be a really pretty outer layer for whatever the heck I plan to do. I don't even know. But this is just a black sheet in a very soft material though. I just needed that for the lining of the dress. The other color I got that I thought would be really pretty for a dress is this sheet. It's kind of like a pink purple and I actually thought it was really pretty but that's for probably a future project. I also got this really cute tribal dress here as you can see and a lot of these items I will find them a really good deal and I'll be able to put them up on my online shop so that's kind of how I plan to keep the business going I mentioned this in another video but I don't really know which video say what there is this little black dress because I thought it was adorable flowy so I think my husband's home probably this dress I thought was actually really pretty it has a mesh top to it and then the bottom of it has a little bit of texture there. I usually try to pick ones that are in like really good condition or look pretty much new. This one I actually got and I just thought it'd be really cute to make it smaller and make it into like a small dress with a lot of skirt to it. That's kind of like a little simple project I wanted to try. But I'm really excited about this. For once in my life, I finally found a vintage nightgown or at least it looks vintage. I mean, look at the sleeves, look at the waist part. It's really long and flowy. I was like actually really excited 
excited about this. One of my favorite photographers, she shoots a lot of them and every time she does, I'm like so jealous of these pieces she finds and I'm like, they're so pretty, I want one and to photograph. Another thing I kind of showed when I did a little bit of B-roll out there was this tool. I don't know how much of it, what size it is, but it never hurts because I love tools. Lastly are these. Another dress idea I had to use with these curtains and I just thought that could potentially be a interesting dress. I got a lot of it so I can make a really big skirt out of it. That is the end of the haul. So I decided on a little bit of an easier way. I'm now in the garage in my studio to see if there's a dress that has a top that I really like and then I can use that top to kind of make a similar dress. I really don't know what I'm doing. You're just kind of here for the journey with me. I'm over here like I've got to figure this out. There has to be a way to make what I'm trying to make here. But I also don't have any boning because I couldn't find anything at the store. So either I'm going to find something that can go as boning and then just have fun with that. So many of these dresses here have so many layers. My favorite kind of top is something more like this. What do I want to do at the top of this dress? Like, do I want to keep it simple? Do I want to be extravagant? Okay, I'm going to try to decide. I'll get back with you. So I decided to go with this dress, this top bodice. I thought this would actually be the perfect one to use because I really love the bodice and the material kind of reminds me of what I bought, kind of sheer vibe. I just love this. If I keep doing this, dresses are gonna be really easy to make, which excites me because I love ball gowns and I've always thought it would be so cool to be able to design and put one together, but I just kept thinking like, oh, that's not what I'm supposed to do or oh, someone's gonna think, why is she doing that? She's supposed to be a photographer. And you know what? You do you. Like if you love it, do it. I think I waited way too long for this. So I come into a problem after doing my own patterns. I went to go test them out on the mannequin alone and discovered that I kind of did things wrong. <laughs> We're learning as we go. Basically, I'm gonna redo all of these, but this time I'm gonna use thinner type of stuff <laughs> because this one's very hard to line up with the dress. about to call it quits. You can kind of see that I have like this trim on there testing out, but I've come across a problem. So the skirt on the dress that I am somewhat using as a template, I bought this, it came with two of them. The length of one half of that hoop skirt on the other dress is 180 inches and this one is 80. Here's the thing, I really love how fluffy and flowy that dress is. I would literally just be totally fine if it came with three of these, but it didn't. 
what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a less poofy skirt. As you can see in the background, I have put on the lining of the skirt and the lining of the top. All I have to do is make the outer layers, which for the skirt will be this. And then for the top part, I'm going to sew all the pieces together again, and then I'm going to line them up and sew the edges, and then I'm gonna turn it inside out, and then I'm going to iron it so that it's all nice and pressed. And then I'm going to figure out if I'm gonna even, I don't even think, I may or may not have extra of this stuff just because it is gonna be long. I'll be able to cut off some pieces. Who knows what's gonna happen, but. <sighs> my sewing machine had a ton of problems i'm freaking tired my back hurts and i'm about to go to bed i was like i'm just gonna do this skirt and i'm gonna scratch it up and that's gonna be the last thing i do and guess what it does see how flat that is oh my gosh this phone does not want to cooperate as i'm pulling the string and gathering it together it just breaks <laughs> Day three, working on this dress. A lot of the days I have to pause and do other stuff, but I'm so excited. This turned into, I don't know, this turned into something else, I would have to say, because I feel like it started off with like, oh, I'm just gonna buy like thrifted items and make a random dress. And then I started getting really into it. So we are in the garage looking for boning because there's this material that came in a package. I'm trying to figure out which packaging that was. Not this one, but I need to figure out a random solution to boning. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm not gonna figure it out. There has to be some left. Yeah. Found it, guys. Okay, so this really thick plasticky stuff they use to wrap my keyboard, which the box is in here, and it had all the stuff, and I couldn't remember where it was, but I found it. It was in a trash bag that I hadn't thrown out yet, so I'm so glad, because this stuff is durable, honestly. Obviously, it doesn't snap when it bends. That's exactly what I need for boning, so we're gonna try it out, and we're gonna hope for the best, and I'm gonna see if there's extra in case. part that goes right in front on the chest, the two sides, the back little panel right here I'm about to glue, and then I just sandwich it in. Oh, I just realized how like actually gross I look. Just <laughs> I decided to take a different way with this trim because I want it to be like sticking up top of the dress kind of like when I had a she's making and I forgot I decided to use just a regular little needle for hand sewing the lace onto the lining so I had to open up the two pieces because I had them face to face so that I can sew them together and then I was like oh yeah the trim has to be sewed with it so they are facing the opposite way so that when I turn it inside out then the trim is going to be sticking out perfectly wedged between the two sewn together and seamless in order to do that I had to pin it down but it would be sewn in between the two layers now at that point I wouldn't be able to see the lace and I wanted to make sure it was lined up perfectly with those little grooves the little line right here I didn't want to screw it up by sewing it so Sometimes on the line, sometimes not. I decided to hand sew the trim perfectly on the line that I would be needing to sew. And then once I place the other thing down, I'm going to trace a line along the, what I can feel as this fabric or as the trim, I'm going to trace it perfectly on the line that I want it. And then when I go to sew, That also has to be perfect. Luckily, I only have to do this for the top part. We're gonna figure it out. Alright, so it's almost 1 a.m. and here I am on the dress. I'm about to sew the top 
up to the skirt. So what I did was turn the skirt right side, then I flipped this over it. And this is the inside of the bodice. We have front facing front skirt. And then I pinned the little fluffies so that none of them were on the other side popping out. Wish me luck. So we are officially on day four. Let's hope, fingers crossed, this is the last day. We're gonna put the zipper on. The dress had some flaws on this little part I still have to fix. So I'll see that when it's on the dress form again, but I fixed a few spots. I still have a hole in this lining so that I can reach in there and fix anything. Cause obviously I haven't closed it with the zipper yet. That's where we're at. It's almost done guys. <laughs> Oh, I just gotta cut that piece off. And then I'm gonna add the straps here. Back here, we've got the zipper, the invisible zipper. All I need is to get a little hook eye for the top part. That's okay for now. And then it falls down and it is extra long here in the back. It's ready for a photo shoot. Well, almost. <laughs> So editing Stephanie's popping in just to say that I forgot to make an outro, so I am now. Just finished editing the video, so. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the process that I took on making this all up. Ever since I started on the dress, I started watching a lot more YouTube videos, started getting more ideas on how to do the next dress. And I'm really excited to dive a lot deeper into, you know, how to sew properly because creating something that I can put in a photo or video makes me so excited. If that's what you're into and you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join along. I have another dress in the making right now, as well as a lot of ideas, as well as we just got approved for the loan for the house. And I mentioned in a previous video, we're supposed to close in about a week. There's gonna be a lot of things going on with my business and us moving and creating a new studio and painting and flooring and all that stuff. So please stick around. If you wanna join the journey, I'm so excited to grow my YouTube again. Please leave a comment of something you've made for the first time and how your experience was. All right, guys, I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.